Happy news! Stay tuned for our new exciting website which is in progress. Have you ever thought about what is the difference between the Outlook body versus HTML body of Outlook? Hey guys, welcome back to Google Tech. This is Google and this video we are going to see the difference between creating a body of the Outlook using normal body versus HTML body. Previously we have discussed in the Outlook automation series about how to send an email and how to save the attachments from the Outlook to our local desk. If you have missed to watch it, not to worry, we have provided the playlist link in description. You can go ahead and watch it. Let's start with the today's session. I'm going to write with OL mail, which is our Outlook mail, or I'm just mentioning it as OM. And in OM, I'm going to give two, which is the two. So I'm giving it as test at test.com and dot cc. Cc will be my normal cc. So no need to worry about anything over here. So I'm going to give abc at xyz.com and these are all the common area, even the subject. Subject I'm going to write as test. So these are all the fixed column or the fixed range or fixed value. We cannot able to change anything over here. But in body of the email, we can create it with the same difference what we have mentioned in the email, which is normal body of the e out email and with the HTML body. So first I'm going to write as body and which is equal to I'm going to give it as just a name. Hello. Hello techies comma and I'm going to give it in new line. So VB new line page and again this is this method to write email and I'm going to write again a VB new line and thanks vb new line gt which is our google tech let's run this so let's run this code sorry we forgot to add the display to display the email so let's run this code and you can see our email is visible which is the two cc and test is visible there is some difference we need to see but you can see we can cannot able to bold the names and there you can't able to insert multiple spaces over here so that we can do it using the html which is format we are going to see how to create that one so what we can do is we can comment out this particular line and i'm going to rephrase it or recreate it using the html format so that we can able to customize how we want to do that instead of body i'm going to type it as dot HTML body then equal to let's write the same give a break is help you to so we have recreated this particular line with the comment called breakdown and now we as we discussed we are going to give some customization for this particular greetings so I'm going to give it as bold so use the comment tag which is bold and close the bold over here and if you want to change this particular style into italic you can use the same code for I as a code word to make this as italic and close the bracket now let's execute our code and see how this email is getting created we no need any double quotes over here because since we are creating it in our html body so that's why we are getting this error and removing it so now we have bolded that techies one let's execute this and see what is the, our email format our particular greeting is given in the bold format and this particular text in italic format so this is how we are going to customize the body of the email using html body format in outlook if you have any doubt in this particular video please reach out to us via our comment box or any social media platform we are happy to assist you in all the time thanks for watching we'll meet you in the next exciting video until then bye from google tech thank you